Um, no. It wasn't? No, so just start again. Are you serious? The red dot is when it's on, right? Yeah. So it's on right so it's now. It's filming right now. Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're here with No One Aids, and today we're gonna be opening up Munch Pack. So let's get started. So we're just gonna jump into it here. So Noah's gotta cut it open. Now while Noah's cutting that, I'm also gonna talk about how Munch Pack is like snacks that you get, and they're international snacks from different countries. And oh, it looks like there's a card on top here, guys. So Noah, Noah why don't you show, you, show them what's inside there. There it is, guys. And I'll read the card, or I'll read part of it. And it, ha it says, hi, Tristan. And then it says, um, it's got the best photos and videos possible. The most uh, drool-worthy photos are bright and clear. It just tells you how to keep your, like, take photos of your food or whatever. And then it says, now that you're ready to try snacks, go on and treat yourself. Happy snacking, Elijah. So they even wrote my name on here, and then they wrote this at the bottom here. It's on the back. And it even says on the back, guys, my unique promo code is Top Pops, and you can, my unique URL is um, http uh, dot dot forward slash forward slash munchpack.com slash Top Pops. And then if you use that code, guys, you actually save three dollars on your purchase and it expires in exactly one year so you guys should do this as quick as possible because it expires in a year um, but yeah guys it'll be linked in the description my link right there and then you guys can use my code top pops to get three dollars off your purchase now what else do we have in here we have um, hello adventurous eaters this munch hashtag munch pack was made with lots of love by Jason enjoy so it's even a card guys and it says Jason on there so everything's very personalized in here already you would get this no, no, yeah, you would get this. You wouldn't get this though, because you don't. Because this is your... this is my yeah. this is for me, of course, because this is uh. So this you don't get an unboxing here. But here we go, guys. It's got the nice munch pack paper here. So let's take this off and let's just go in one at a time here. No, we won't look at it, but we'll let them see it. Okay. Your head's kind of cut off, so we'll take this down here. Okay, now you want to reach in first. Take one thing. Okay, so here we have Doritos pizza rolls. Now, um, now all of these are from different countries, guys, and you can't buy these in every country. And this seems to be Italian or Spanish or anyways, it'll, I believe there's a card in here that tells us everything, but we're going to smell that smells just like pizza rolls. You know, smell that smells like pizza. It does. Well, here guys, we're going to sniff this here. Or I'll, I'll try it. I don't know what that tastes like. It tastes like pizza goldfish crackers. Yeah, it almost kind of tastes like that. Like those pizza goldfish crackers. Or we had the other day mozzarella bow ties. Which kind of tasted like this. Here, I'll show you the packaging too. There you go, guys. It's a very green color, which you don't see too often for Doritos. This is really cool. I can't tell what language that is, though. Because it is a different language, of course. I'll reach in again for another one. Here we have... Hmm, I can't tell what this is at all. Draza Apaca, it says. And, um... Let's open this one up. No, you want to try this one? Sure. When I opened this up, I expected it to be nuts, but it looks more like a small hard candy here. No, you want to try that? Dad, you reaching in here for the Doritos? There you go. What's that taste like? Yeah, but I don't know though. They're not bad. I mean, I like these. They're different. They kind of remind not me. Hard candies. They're like soft. soft they they sugar. look like here, guys. I'll show you what they look like. They look like hard candies. But then when you bite into them, they're kind of the soft. Look like? It's got like a native on there. I can't tell what language it is either. A lot of these are very different because you never see these in stores. What else we have here, guys, is looks to be like it says Lotus Tea. And this is cool. We can't do this one right now because we don't have hot water with us. But maybe after the after we do all these other ones, we'll be able to do these upstairs. No, I'll try it. I'll try it. Vietnam. Made oh, it's Vietnam? Vietnam. That's really cool. And then, guys, we're going to move on to this next one here. I'm just going to reach in. Okay, guys, so here's Bugles. It says Sweet and Salty Bugles Chocolate Peanut Butter. I've tried normal Bugles before. And if you don't know, guys, the other snacks are pointless. Do you get it? Because Bugles look like little points. I'm going to open this one up. We'll see what it smells like because the flavor on this is chocolate peanut butter, guys. I'll show you this before we open it up. It might wreck the package. But there you go, guys. Now, I'm going to open this one up. No, you want to see... We'll, we'll do the smell test first, and then we'll see what it tastes like after. Ooh, no, smell that. It smells like chocolate. It smells like a uh, Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. I can see that. It's the same stuff, so. It's cool. Try them. Because it tastes almost like there's like a peanut butter coating on it, and the, the actual thing is chocolate, if that makes sense. They're pretty good. remind me like that would be tasting like that. No, but they're not bad. Like, it's got a bit of a crunch to it, but 
It it's very peanut buttery. It has a bugle, which is like... Yeah, you can kind of taste the normal bugle in there weird, as well. But like, kind of. You guys can see what it looks like in there. Kind of. Take one out and show. Yeah, here. This is what a bugle looks like, guys, if you don't know. It almost looks like the, um, the sorting hat from Harry Potter, if you know what I mean. There it is, guys. Really cool. Let's reach in. Noah, you want to grab something else in there? What's this one? Why don't you read? This is white and red flag caramel heaven wafer with caramel filling. Now let's find out if we can find where this is from. Made in Poland, guys. So this is a Poland snack here. Polish snack. It's a Polish snack, Polish. not Poland snack. But it's a snack from Poland, guys. So let's open this one up. Ooh, okay, so it's one big wafer. So what we'll do is me and Noah can split a little bit of it. Or we just take a small bite from it. This almost looks like... Ah, it won't open. Woo! Got it. Got it. So guys, this is almost like a giant... No, what would you call that? Like, do you know those, um, like a giant wafer? If you guys don't know what these are, they have smaller strips of them, and they come in strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. But let's try and break it here, guys, and then it seems to have some nice caramel filling in it. It looks really good. No, here, you try some, and I'll try some. You don't need to eat the whole thing, though, because it's pretty big. And we got a lot more stuff to try for you guys. It's hmm. soft. It's soft. It's softer than I think, than you'd think, actually, because it looks pretty hard. It's pretty good. I mean... I don't really like it. Here, you try it. Well, we're not going to like everything in here because they're all, of course, from all around the world. But, Dad, do you like it? It's not bad. I mean, it's got a different texture than you'd think. Yeah, it's you'd think it'd be kind of crunchy. As you think, yeah. But, but it's soft. kind of softer and sweet, too. It's good, though. It's a different flavor. It's good. Yeah. I'll reach in and get another thing here. Oh, this looks like something we'd like. These remind me of the um, the wafer. They're like longer strips, and it's kind of like thinner. I don't know what you call that. It almost looks like we call it like candy bacon sometimes, because it's so thin. No, does it say where it's from on the back? Probably like Japanese, maybe. It says Asian food grocer, so like. So probably some Asian. Oh, product of Thailand. It says oh, here. There, you go. there it is, right there. Let's open this up, guys. We'll try this out. Oh, they're. Oh, you know what? I thought these were long, like wafer. Like, like they almost look like. Like sugar covered Twizzlers. Let's try this. Um, I believe they're Coke flavored. Because, guys, on the front here, it shows like a Coke can on the. That's your right side. Something like that. And it looks really sour. These aren't bad. I don't mind these. I need, I need a lot of these. But, guys, let's see what else we have here. Just because we have so much stuff in here. What's this one? Fruit pastels. You know, this reminds me of also, let me find out where this is from. And it almost reminds me of Lifesavers. No, you want to pop. Here, we'll show them and then I'll open it up. There it is, guys. Just a roll. It looks like just any, like any other Lifesaver roll or almost like um, Mentos roll. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much what it is here, but it's like a sugar-covered one. Let's pull one out. No, you want to try that? They look like they'd be soft, and I'll show you one as well. They're soft. Are they soft? Oh, they look. Oh, then they look hard then. That's what it is there, guys. It's almost like a sugar-covered wafer. No, they're pretty hard. They're harder than I thought. Yeah. What are you looking at here? I'll grab another thing while we're doing that. Okay, here's something that I don't think I would like because I'm, I'm not really into beans. Coughing back there. But this is um, the original Boston Baked Beans Candy Coated Peanuts. No, you're into peanuts. Do you want to try one then? Um, maybe. Where'd that go? Oh, something dropped there. Here, let me see if I can open this up. Have you guys seen it here? I'll show you that first. There you go, guys. That's got even like a, a pot of beans on the back here, and we'll open it up. Here it is. No, here, I'll pour one out in your hand so you can try it. I'll also show you guys what it looks like, too. You don't have to eat all those, but I... There, guys, it's pretty much just like a candy-coated bean here. Oh, if you want to try one, I'll try one. I still have the other candy in my mouth. Is it good? You got a hard peanut. Yeah, it's a hard. They're kind of hard, but they're pretty good. I mean... I'm not a big fan of peanuts. I do like peanut M&M's, but these are pretty good because they are covered in candy. So, I mean, I'll eat anything with candy on it, but I'll move these over here, guys. So, I like these. We can go on to the next one. Yeah, no one likes those. Um, let's see what else we got. Ooh, Belgian waffle, which is really cool. And I'm guessing this is from Belgium, but I, I'll check just to make sure. Yeah, tasty and sweet Belgian waffle. So, I'm guessing it's Belgian. But what else do we have here? We'll open this up on the back. It's just, these are a lot of really good snacks. Like, I was afraid that maybe 
we weren't gonna like too many of them because you know they're from around the world and we're used to like what we have here in Canada and the States but this is actually a lot of really good stuff here we'll break this ooh it's actually soft it's kind of nice it feels it's like almost like moist still here now you want to try this take that there it actually looks really good it's good though it's a good different don't they don't taste like our waffles they taste more like a, almost like a donut it tastes like pizza -like? yeah no. Not the ones that we, not the ones that we get, like the. No, it doesn't really. I don't know. Here, try it. This is a cinnamon roll. Yeah. Yeah. Which is weird because it's not. Cinnamon. What else do we have here? No. I'll move this over a bit. You know, you grab something out of there. What's this one? Mor oh, they're Nestle too. Maracas. Maracas. Now, where's this from then? Nestle. Nestle. I didn't thought it was Nestle. Oh my goodness. Maracas. But they aren't English, so. Sounds Spanish. They're a different language, of it course. Sounds Spanish. Yeah, it does on seem the Spanish. Back, there's Spanish writing. So it might be uh, from Mexico, maybe? There's two of them in there. Yeah, do you want to try it since no one's not going to try? Yeah, yeah. You have oh, there are two. Okay. I was thinking there was like, you know, like Oreos where they're stuck together like that, but it says on the side here, one, two, so it comes with two in here. This is almost like, um, this reminds me of like, not a baby cracker, but that's kind of what it tastes like. Like an air room? With, um, yeah, like that, but with chocolate layers in it. Do you want to try this at all or no? No, I'm good. Okay, yeah, I kind of bit into it. It's not the greatest way for Noah to try it. What else we got in here? Let's try these, Noah, and then we'll, we'll actually let's try this, and then we'll save this for la the other one for last. Oh, so no, this is um, a French crepe, which is really cool. So I'm guessing this is from France, if I'm not. Oh yeah, product of France, really cool. This is all the way across the ocean, and here we go. I'm gonna open this up. Actually, my teacher, ocean. who was French, don't don't quiz me. My teacher, who was French, and. Um, Shout out to Mr. Dylan, who actually uh, made crepes in class. He would make a bunch of them for us. He'd let us put Nutella on it, and then strawberries and all this stuff. And he actually had like a crepe maker and all this. I don't want to rip it, but no, here you go. You can try that. Now I'll try this piece here. That if you want to try some there. I do like a lot of candies and sweets and stuff like that. So I'm going to be saying this is good to a lot of them. But a lot of this stuff really is really good. Now I think we have one more thing in here, guys. And this is a BB toe. Wacky sticks. So this is almost like the other one that we saw. Okay guys, so these wacky sticks here are kind kind of taste a lot like real strawberry, I have to say. Like a lot of candies in America kind of taste like a fake strawberry if you're eating an actual one and then putting it like with one of the actual candies, like maybe it's like a strawberry jelly bean or something like that. But this one does taste really good. Do you have anything to say about this one? Because it's just kind of like sugar coated and all this stuff. It's like the weird thing in the middle, but it's like kind of good. Yeah, it reminds me of like a Twizzler with the middle in it. And then it's got like almost like the white flavoring in the middle. But then it's got the strawberry coating on the outside as well. But since we're doing all this and that's everything out of this box. No, what was your favorite one out of this? These thingies. Oh yeah, the kind of like almost like uh, lifesaver rolls. Yeah, this thing. Yeah, to be honest, guys, I think mine has to be the Wacky Sticks. Like, they were the last one, of course, but these were really good. Like, I like these, and I like Twizzlers a lot, and I also like Red Vines. But, Dad, do you have anything that's your favorite? I like this one. That one? Which one's that? Let me see it. They taste like orange. Let me see them. They're the little ball, uh, orange... Oh, yeah, the draws a uh, uh, pack balls. Like orange sherbet, almost. Yeah, these ones were good, too. I like these ones. I forgot about these, actually. Okay guys, so just because that's everything here, thank you to Munchpack for sending us this box. Also, don't forget to use my code, Top Pops, for my link on Munchpack. It gets you $3 off your next purchase. It'll be linked in the description for that. You guys will take me over there. Or you can just go to munchpack.com slash Top Pops. This has been a really fun unboxing, guys. I like Munchpack and I like all the cool candies you get to see from around the world. But anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Top Pops. Thanks to Noah Nate for helping me out. Thanks for watching.